Um, I'll start with a poem that I wrote. I was hosting an award ceremony in London, and it was supposed to open with a poet doing a poem about words, and she lost her voice. And they said to me, oh, you must have a poem about words. I didn't, so I wrote this. Unpeel your words gently, like a ripe avocado sheds its fine tarmac skin. But where do words begin? Seeded by the heart, taking time to impart meaning. Fertilized by the mind, still time to rewind, revise, think twice, roll back the dice, then think again. So that when thoughts amble to the larynx, resonating chambers echo. They crescendo and take flight, spinning with vibration, your tongue's their destination, your speech their publication. Sculpted by palate and teeth, with volume they increase and are delivered to the world. Yet yeah, your ideas unfurled into anticipation. Even those not listening may overhear. So be careful what you think. Think before you speak the unspeakable. YouTube will repeat the unrepeatable, spreading like a wick rolling virus. But with careful words, you can inspire us. Maybe even unite us. Words that tell history or her story without seeking glory. Words to believe in when nothing makes sense or Words to barricade you in a barbed wire fence. Hostile words begin wars when they invade your mind. Will you find a cause you believe in enough to live for? Your heart is louder than a politician. Be still and listen. Reload your verbal ammunition. Take aim to terminate attrition. One love our global ambition. Words of compassion will infiltrate hearts and minds as your soul inclines to. And words to negotiate help conflict cease. Honeyed words drip libations onto Mother Earth, giving thanks for all our random birth and the endless possibilities to connect. Textbook flirtations, tweeted cogitations, MSN implications, community vibrations. And words are recoded, recycled by each generation with zeal. Standard speech can't contain how they feel. Teen code, CBA. Or I'm too busy, L-M-F-A-O. Street words from sweet girls. Sprung from Descartes' words long ago. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. But too many thoughts brewing can create monsters at midnight. Nightmares that dissolve in the light of one who's there for you, who cares for you. Words whispered mid slumber, breath breezing down lumber from the maple. Chai. Or rest weary limbs and some fragrant jasmine tips for perfume words to slip from your softly smiling lips as you quench your thirst. But listen first. Listen without thinking ahead and carving your reply. Because only then, when you've exhaled and the teacups all drain dry, then let your words mosaic the space that hovers between you. Woo!